So it's been a long minute since I've posted a video here. I'm not even gonna go into that. Maybe I'll get into it at the end. But today I wanted to do the 15 weird questions tag. I actually got inspired by A. Marie, Beauty Books A. Marie on YouTube. And she is amazing. She's actually one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, I think she's been doing YouTube for about a year. I saw this tag on her channel just recently last week and I thought it would be a really fun video for me to do on my main channel. Um, I also have a vlog that I just put up. It's kind of like a recap of Coachella. That just went up today as well. So you're enjoying two videos. Definitely follow A. Marie. She's amazing. She's a writer. She talks a lot about books. She is just incredible girl crush and fun little fact I know I'm sounding like a fan but I actually am so back in the day when I was in high school like early maybe it was like 2005 or 2003 something like that um, early 2000s she came out with a song called why don't we fall in love and I love that song if I listen to it it takes me back to my high school days and I listen to it on Pandora and she also has this other song that I love which is called one thing and she's amazing so um, subscribe to her channel you're not gonna regret it her channel is full of content that actually has value like that is the word that I find that describes her channel is value so let's get to it a nickname that my mom calls me is uh, Mi Negra Chula. She always says that to me. My husband just started calling me, well not just, but maybe like the past three years, he started calling me Gorda. And at first I was like, don't call me Gorda. Not because, you know, it's like, oh, he's calling me fat, but because I call my little sister Wendy Gorda too. But um, at first I wasn't really feeling it. Honey just doesn't sound like it fits me. Like if he says honey to me, he's been wanting me to call him honey too, but it just doesn't go. So I don't call him honey. But yeah, my mom calls me mi negra chula and Jesse calls me gorda. I have to tell you guys that I don't know if you do this, but say for example, I'm driving down the road and then I see a green light far away and the first thought that always comes to my mind is like, I'm gonna die in 10 years if I don't make that red green light. And as I'm driving to the green light, I have anxiety of making the green line and if I don't, I feel like I am gonna die in 10 years. So that always happens to me with lights. Like I have to make the light or else something bad is gonna happen. And it always feels really good because I somehow always end up making the light. So I think I'm gonna live till I'm freaking 100. Yeah, I do have a weird phobia and I think you guys probably have it too if you Google what it is because I didn't have it before until I was shopping in Santa Monica, 3rd Street. I don't know if they still have this piece of art that gave me the chills, but I saw this piece of art hanging. It was like on the side of a department store and it was just um, a collection of clustered spheres and I thought it was pretty cool. Like it didn't give me the chills or anything like that. Not until I posted it on Instagram because I thought it would make a cool picture. People started typing the actual term for the phobia. And I think it's like typo something like that. I don't even know what it is, guys, but I will tell you here. Yeah, it's basically the fear of dots, the fear of tiny little holes all together. Yesterday, Isaac ha took a bubble bath and I put one of the Lush bath bombs and the bath bomb was just kind of like disintegrating, but it was creating all these, uh, like a cluster of bubbles. And that freaked me out. I'm like, it gave me so much chills. It's just, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like a repeated pattern. I don't like a cluster of little holes or dots. It's just like, I don't know why I get freaked out over that, but I do. So a song that I secretly love is called Mi Media Naranja by Faye. If you guys don't know who that is, um, you're probably you weren't into pop Mexican music in the early 90s, but that's a song that I seriously, when I, like I have moments that I'll search that song online and I'll just bump it. That song, Mi Media Naranja, I don't know the words. <laughs> My biggest pet peeve is definitely people driving and texting. I think that is so selfish. Somebody actually asked me that on Snapchat Q&A that I just did over the weekend. I think that is so selfish. Honestly, guys, if you're ever texting and driving, don't do that. Don't put on your makeup and drive. Don't drink coffee and drive. 
Just focus on driving. Like all of those things that you're doing are not important. What's important is that you don't kill somebody. Okay, first and foremost, don't kill somebody. And if you do end up killing somebody, how messed up is that? You know, how sad is that over a text, over your coffee, over your makeup? You killed somebody and you're going to have to live with that for the rest of your life. So always pay attention when you're driving 100% and don't try to speed through the traffic. That doesn't make you look cool. As a matter of fact, to everybody else, you look like a fool for doing that because that is so selfish. So don't do that. My nervous habit has to be if I am in a place where I am really nervous, uh, usually happens like at a photo shoot. Actually, I'm not that nervous at a photo shoot anymore, but like anywhere that it's the first time that I'm there, I usually start complimenting whoever's next to me. I'll be like, I'm like, you're so pretty. Oh my gosh, I like your style. I like this about you. I like your shoes. You're so talented. Like I'll just start complimenting whoever is around me to sort of like take my mind off of what I'm about to do. And I also say really dumb things. My voice also sounds shaky. It's just weird. I don't know, that just happened. Oh, and I also have like this weird face thing. Like, I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do with my, fo with my <laughs> facial muscles. And you know what makes me nervous too? Which I think is so terrible. The fact that I do not know what to do with my hands if I am alone in public or with myself, I don't know what to do. I try really hard not to get on my phone because in my phone, if I'm on my phone I feel and I'm alone, I feel like I am in my own world. Nobody else matters. I am lost in my own little digital world. I try to put it away because I also feel like it's kind of embarrassing to see somebody on their phone the whole time. So I don't want to be that person on their phone the whole time in public. In my personal life, that's different, but like in public, I feel like, like, come on, just put your phone down and interact with people. So I try not to do it and I seriously feel like so my hands, what do I do with these hands? What do I say? What do I, <laughs> I feel so weird. I sleep on the left side of the bed. My husband sleeps on the right. And I read somewhere online that instinctively men always choose the side of the bed that is the closest to the door. And I read that first and then I kind of then I thought about where my husband's ha my husband has slept the whole time and he has always slept on the side of the door which is always the left side and it's almost like um and like I said it's it's like almost within nature according to the article for the man to sleep on the right or the, on the side of the bed that's closest to the door because it's kind of like if something happens like you're the closest to the action and to protect your woman or vice versa I sleep on the left I try to sleep on the right just to switch things up and I just can't like I like to sleep rolled over to the side I put a pillow in between my legs I straddle it and I also put one leg outside of my comforters so that is how I I like to sleep. This is my first stuffed animal. I've been hugging him the whole time because I knew I was gonna um, show him in today's video. So this little guy here doesn't have a name. I never named him. Um, I think it's a bunny and I've had this since I was seven years old. So back in 1995 it's been maybe like 21 years. It's been a long time, guys. And my tío Raúl actually gave this to me. And he also brought another stuffed animal when we first got to America to my other sisters. And I've just had this little guy for my whole life. Like when I was scared and I was little, um, even in high school, I would hug it. It just comforted me so much. I cried on this thing so much. I did some things I wasn't supposed to to this guy. <laughs> Don't act like you don't. I've had it for a really long time and I feel so grateful that I actually have something from my childhood because I always see in movies and I hear other parents say how, oh, my daughter has this little stuffed animal that she's had since her whole life or her blanket or this and that. And I'm so happy that I actually have something from my childhood. Nothing else is left but memories and this little guy here. And I used to play, I was his school teacher. I was his mom. I would feed him. He would sleep in my bed. I would tuck him. I took care of him and I would talk to him. And sometimes I even thought he was possessed by the devil because my grandma said that, or actually one of my aunts said, my greater aunts said that, rest in peace, she said that stuffed animals get possessed by the demon. So at one point I was like, um, yeah, I'm not hugging this thing at night anymore. The drink that I always order at Starbucks has to be either a latte, just regular, two brown sugars, or like a passion tea or something like that. I'm very simple when it comes to my drinks. There's days that I do want to experiment, but my primary reason for going to Starbucks is to get something with caffeine so I can get a, you know, a good kick. And also 
just to get a refresher. If it's really hot outside, I usually get something like that. I don't like to get something with too much sugar on a daily basis because I am trying so hard to cut down the sugar and that's a whole different story. But yeah, I definitely love to get a latte with two brown sugars and um, a passion tea or something like that. You know, a little lemonade or something. So the beauty rule that I always preach to you guys that I, not that I don't actually practice it, but I wish I would practice it more often is drinking water. I know the importance of drinking water. I know you guys know the importance of drinking water, but I don't know why it's so hard for me to consume water. I know how important it is to your beauty, like just to your overall health. But I'm speaking in regards to this question in beauty. Water is vital to your beauty. You won't look, like if you drink water all day and that's all you drink, you're gonna look so much younger. Your skin is going to look better. You're not gonna have breakouts. You're not gonna be extra oily. Like water is just like the source of life. And I always tell you guys, I always tell myself, I tell my sisters, but I never drink enough water. I should, I really have to try to make that a goal. Like we buy water bottles because I think it's easier, but it still doesn't happen. So I, I drink water, but just not enough. Honestly, um, I don't even know. I face, I actually like it hitting me like this, but sometimes if I'm like relaxing for a little bit, I'll just let it hit my back and it just feels so good. Just like oh, hot water. I love a hot shower, by the way. Any weird body skills? Um, no, but the one thing I can tell you guys that I do do is I can make myself cry. Uh, actually, no. I could, but I can exhale through my eyeball, through this right eyeball. I could take a deep breath in and then exhale through my tear duct and then my eyes would start crying. I've done that since I was a little girl. My grandma used to tell me not to do that because my eyes were going to pop out of my head. But um, yeah, I'm not going to do it right now because my eyes are going to get super watery. Maybe I'll do it, but it's basically just holding my nose and then I like just apply pressure and then you can just see water, um, air coming out and like tons of little bubbles. and. I realized that all my breath was gone when I did that. So I'm like, oh, I could actually exhale through my freaking eyeballs. Is that weird? Is that even possible is my thing? I don't know. Uh, my favorite comfort food. Mm, you know what, guys? Honestly, I love carne asada. But meat is so bad for you so bad for you it takes forever to digest it gives you stomach problems it can cause so many issues within you cancer i mean meat is just like the death of someone and i try not to eat it so i don't overindulge as i used to i feel like that's in my you know mexican family eating meat is like a must have um my suegra actually told me um, that Jesse likes to eat meat with all of his meals and she asked me one time she's like oh what do you cook um, on a daily basis and I told him I told her that I only make meat like three times a week and she's like don't you give him meat every single day I'm like no and I realized that that's like a tradition like that's like something that just happens in Mexican families and in my family too we eat meat we have parties we have carne asada the whole time we had sausage links like it's just so much food and then the next day we're all paying for it so I have I don't try to give that to Isaac like I don't even want him to digest that kind of meat that's so heavy and so bad for him so um, at least making that conscious effort but it is comfort food because I grew up eating that kind of food and meat and carne asada so um, yeah trying to cut back on it a lot a phrase that I always say is Oh, really? I'm like, oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know why I said that until like in the army days, I had one of my sergeants, he was like clowning me for always saying, oh, really? But it's in the way that I say it too. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> it's so dumb, but I always say that. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Like, oh, really is like the thing that I say all the time. So that is a phrase that I, I, I just use all the time. I am wearing a parka and some combat boots. So that is my video for today. Yay! 
I did a video. I'm so happy because I know it's been two weeks, but honestly, can I just tell you guys that I had to take a long break from YouTube. I was just so like done with doing YouTube videos, not for the rest of my life, of course, because I still wanted and attempted to, but just things weren't happening. Things were not aligning. I needed a break. I've been doing this for so long that I've also been doing the same kind of content and I want to switch it up because I'm such a different person to the person that I was eight years ago. And my goal is to incorporate my family because my family is my passion. So I want to do so many more videos with Isaac and Jesse and our pets and my parents and my sisters fun videos of course still beauty because I love it is one of my passions and I also want to do uh, fashion but fashion is gonna be in regards to petite style because I am petite I'm 49 and now that we are moving um, because this is a whole nother video, but we bought a house. I can't wait to tell you guys more about it. Uh, but now that we're moving, I am decluttering my closet and getting rid of everything that I don't wear that doesn't fit my body because I used to buy stuff when I would go shopping. I would buy stuff that I wish would look good on me and then maybe one day they would somehow look good on me, like really long palazzo pants. And then I didn't really dress my body right. So I had a lot of bad dress days because I wasn't dressing my body right. So now I'm all about quality and fit it and I want to share just the things that I have been learning with the dressing of a petite body because it is a challenge and I definitely believe that just knowing how to dress your body is the best way to look good it doesn't matter what you put on as long as it fits you and it's proportionate and you know I'm also discovering that I don't have a long torso I don't know why I didn't even pay attention to that before so it's just a whole you know just so many things that I want to do and my website is getting fixed up again so when that gets fixed, I'm gonna have outfits of the day in regards to petite fashion and how to, you know, find the right boots for a petite girl and, and just things like that, you know? And of course my family and beauty and things like that. So I just wanna switch it up. So if you guys have any requests, please leave them down in the description box. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and um, I'll see you guys on Snapchat and Instagram.